Welcome back guys. This is the latest update of our layered coatings and sealants longevity test. This being update number 12 or the nine month mark. And as you can see here, the crazy ice storm that hit most of the Southwest US got us here in Texas and basically for several days, it just stayed frozen like this. So this test has definitely been the oddball as far as results we've been seeing. Since this test isn't part of my usual longevity test, I'm open to trying anything you guys wanna see done on this hood. I'm probably gonna let this one run out to about the year mark and just move on. So if you think we should wait until then, just let me know in the comments. You can see things are continuing to degrade after every monthly update. So as always, we'll go ahead and jump right into it. The last 30 days weather as well as the lifetime weather that this hit is seen is on your screen here. And of course, if you would like to support the channel, all you have to do is hit that like button, subscribe and comment down below if you have any experience with any of these products. And of course your environment, do you live in the UK? Are you exposed to salt? Do you live in Australia? You know, where, where are you using these products? So if you do plan on purchasing any of these products, please consider doing so through the links in the video description as it really does help the channel out so you can continue to see tests like this one. So as usual, we will foam everything down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam, rinse it, foam it again, wash it with an Australian sheep's wool wash mitt, and then rinse to inspect the hydrophobic properties before drying everything off. Avalon King Meguiar's Hybrid Paint Coating. HPC getting pretty weak, except for maybe five layers. Avalon King looking all right. Yeah, you can see five layers of hybrid paint coating, but four la or three layers not doing so well, but two layers doing fine. Uh, over on Nanobond, two, three, five layers looking very weak, if not failed, very close to being failed. Um, yeah, Avalon King, Nano Bond. You can see the hydrophobics are weak, but the surface tension does eventually break. So we would definitely call Nano Bond weak to fail, but you can see some does come back. Not quite there, but very close. Typically, we see a little beyond a year with Nano Bond in my other test. New finish. New finish graphene looking pretty good, at least with the single layer and two layers to a lesser extent. And of course, Fuso starting to get weak. Experience with that is extremely strong hydrophobics until about the eight month mark and then they start to diminish and that's what's happening here. But the layers do appear to make a difference on that. Avalon King, hybrid paint coating. Nanobond. So I believe the two layers of Nanobond we called fail at the eight month mark. My label's kind of in the wrong spot there, but it's obviously still still going slightly. So that's that would be like a eight plus, eight, nine, 10 month, something like that. We're not quite there yet. Just some, some odd things happening on this test. Like to hear your comments. Thanks again for watching guys and we'll see you soon.